Hello to all the wonderful humans. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and welcome. I am Aboli and I make science based videos. If you are interested in that space, then consider subscribing to my channel. In today's video, I am going to discuss about those sunscreens which have cursed me <laughs> to have breakouts, to have really greasy skin, to have very greasy hence dull skin. I am going to start today's video with the Earth Rhythm SPF 50 hybrid sun fluid now i thought this would be a great sunscreen because i saw so many good reviews on this sunscreen and many people with oily acne prone skin gave it positive reviews so i was like okay let's go on and get it so the first thing that attracted me towards this sunscreen is the name and that is i think it's written here it's the hybrid sun fluid and anything that is fluidy or have has a light liquid texture attracts me because i have oily skin so i bought that uh, keeping that in mind that maybe it's fluid however it's nothing even close to being fluid it is this is the texture of the product as you can see here this is the texture of the product so it is more like a lotion cream rather than a uh, being a fluid it is very very sticky and i will not recommend this especially for oily acne prone skin and that is because it is very greasy like it is very 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 greasy especially if you use it in the quantities that is required for complete protection now please go and see how it feels on the skin when you use three fingertips of product and it's a mess you cannot reapply this product for oily acne prone skin who lives in a humid climate you absolutely cannot step out of the house if you have this um, particular uh, sunscreen on your skin okay let's see how the product fares on my skin when you use three fingertips of product yes that's right now initially you'll think that yes there's a lot of white cast and it just doesn't seem like it will work but the white cast goes down as you can see here but there is a little sunscreen stuck on my eyebrows and near my hairline which is annoying but the sunscreen is so sticky and the sticky and greasiness does not go away you can see it on my fingers as well and not happy with that so what I did was I handed it over to my mother because she has dry skin. I thought maybe, you know, it is not meant for my skin type. But even she mentioned that she found this sunscreen quite heavy and greasy on her skin. I was quite disappointed with the texture and majority of the sunscreens that I have today are because of their texture and because it didn't work for me. The next sunscreen is one of the worst sunscreens that I have ever used in my entire life without any exaggeration. Now, if any of you guys have purchased this sunscreen like me, I feel for you and I feel very bad for you as I do for myself because wow, what were these people thinking? Seriously, this is the Dr. Shade's Oat Mineral Sunscreen. With this sunscreen, I think they're taking the sunscreen industry back by 20-30 years. You know, you used to see uh, cricketers wearing such sunscreens on the fields, but you can't expect a brown skin person to wear this sunscreen. Okay, and I'll show you why. Like this is the outside. Yeah, you can see how white this sunscreen is, right? This is the sunscreen. I'd say texture wise, it's an okay sunscreen, but nobody cares about the texture when the white cast is this bad. Now this is the sunscreen. Yes, this is the one from Dr. Shades, right? Dr. Shades is an Indian company and they make products for Indian skin. And when they come out with products with this amount of white cast, like it's horrendous, like what is this? And this is not going to go away. This white cast is going to stay like that till you remove it from your skin. It is bad. It does not get uh, absorbed. It does not settle down. There is absolutely no recovery from this. It is this white. Imagine this on your face. Only for demonstration purposes, please do not try this at home. You can try really hard to massage it in, to tap it in, but you'll get tired after 10 minutes. I can assure that the white cast will not go away. But there's one advantage with this sunscreen. This is like the most organic white paint you would find. And I expect more from Indian skincare brands. I expect them to make products, especially sunscreens, that would suit my complexion. And if they don't do that, like what's the point of buying from Indian brands if they make products for white skin like 
what is wrong with you this is why this is one of the worst sunscreens that ever that i have ever used and i have used mineral sunscreens before yes there is a little problem with mineral sunscreens when it comes to the texture and white cast i agree but it's never this bad the next sunscreen that thoroughly disappointed me is the biohor uv spf 50 watery essence what a waste of money for me now this i got it from nika for some 1200 or 1300 and it was quite an investment for me because getting a sunscreen that costs 1300 is a privilege and i was like okay i've heard so much about this product almost everybody on the internet raves about this product so i was like it cannot go wrong however it did go wrong and i'll tell you how to begin with when i opened it, the product and i patch tested it for a few days i was quite happy with the texture i'll show it to you it is watery like the name goes and it it's 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 quite light when you use it in you know these quantities as you can see here it gets absorbed so quickly it's 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 like in a sense it's very light i agree with the name of the sunscreen however <laughs> a big however the first thing that hits you when you use the sunscreen is the smell of alcohol now i do not have a problem with alcohols in my skincare products but i don't like the smell of alcohol especially if you use three fingertips of product it is like it it's like a bang and you know for a few minutes you can actually smell you know the strong uh, alcohol flavor you know the strong alcohol smell and i have allergic rhinitis so sometimes uh, that gets aggravated with it and i start sneezing because it's very strong so whenever i use this product what i have to do is i have to apply it in layers so that i don't apply a lot of product in a small time period now fragrance and smell is something that does not bother everybody so uh, you know it might not be uh, a point that would discourage you from buying this product the second thing that i absolutely do not like is when i apply three fingertips of product it it just stayed on my skin now there'll be many people who are like sunscreen is supposed to stay on your skin it's not supposed to get absorbed in your skin that i feel is kind of a myth now yes sunscreen does form a, a uniform layer but some parts of the sunscreen do get absorbed in your first layer of your skin so it's not going to be like sunscreen is going to act like a vaseline on your skin okay it, there are sunscreens that have hydrating ingredients that do seep inside your skin so when there's there's this layer of just stickiness on my face i absolutely hate it when it's mixed with my sebum and when i go out there is sweat and everything mixed together is just a recipe for acne especially if you have acne prone skin and you constantly get congestion you cannot afford to use such products which would just exacerbate the situation right so that is exactly what happened with the bio uv one let's see how this product looks on my skin when you use three finger tips of sunscreen as you can see here there's hardly any white cast and it looks like it's very very light but take a look at it once it's settled down as you can see there's this weird shine on my face because this is made a weird layer and I just don't know how I feel about it it almost feels like I have a layer of fevicol the shine is really bad I tried to use it in layers in different layers I tried to use it together but the texture when it all comes together does not work for my skin it just forms a sticky layer I don't know am I doing something wrong or did I get a fake product I don't know I would really like to know what your review is of the bio UV watery essence SPF 50 the next sunscreen that I'm going to share with you guys is the fix derma shadow a gel now it is written here that it's a transparent gel for oily acne prone skin now i thought it's a transparent gel like just give it to me already because again oily acne prone skin anything that's transparent let's less creamy more hydrating i want it more gel like i want it i haven't used it in, since a really long time this is the texture of the product okay very liquidy feels nice but when you touch it you realize that it is not watery it is more like a dry oil 
which was very very disappointing since i don't want to put oil on my oily skin in the morning and it takes a really long time to get absorbed as you can see here you have to maneuver it in for a really long time you know after a while it dries up okay if you keep it like this or if you keep it maneuvering it dries up but then it also leaves your skin very tight it's as if it's dried up and it's almost mattified or something where it just pulls your skin and you feel like you know it's tightening a little bit and I, I don't like that feeling because I know that these products that you dry up on your skin make my skin even more oily I cannot use any mattifying products because they uh, literally force my skin to produce more oil let's see how this one fares on my skin as i've said before it takes a little time to settle in your skin once settled you can see here again this also leaves a weird shine and my skin feels so dry and weirdly mattified and i don't like this feeling as you can see here the product is drying up a little bit you can see it has dried in the middle and it's uh, somewhere wet around here and there you can feel that it's you know it's slightly it's tightening and sorry but i just cannot get on with this texture let's move on to the next sunscreen okay let's end the video with the two sunscreens that were most spoken about in 2020 and that is the jovis and the lactocalamine sunscreen so there was this test that um, everyone got to know about and then samapti and rubina ma'am both of them reviewed uh, the uh, the sunscreens that were mentioned in the consumer test results so uh, you guys asked me to review it and I got both of them however both of them didn't work for oily acne prone skin uh, out of these two I'll say the Jovi's one is the lesser evil than the lactocalamine one the lactocalamine is a horrible sunscreen like it is just unbelievable because it is written that it is a matte sunscreen like I don't get it I don't get it that how can you just write random things without uh, understanding what your product does like like sun fluid it is not a fluid like matte sunscreen matte look sunscreen it is not matte at all like not even close to being matte the texture of the jovi's one was also okay i wouldn't say it was great it was better than the lactocalamine one but i wouldn't go back and buy it because now we have so many other sunscreens that work for my skin so i will not be going also i remember that uh, the jovi's one did not disclose their ingredient list like the full ingredient list so i don't know what this sunscreen has and that's it for the video i hope you guys liked it and i hope you guys get the other side of the story as well about these sunscreens and that's it until next time bye